Okay, now we are going to use the record viewer app. So we want to see and compare what we see on the lightning record page in Salesforce. And then we are going to compare what loads on our application that's using the um, user interface API. So to do that, we are going to create a new account here. Um, it's going to be universal containers. I'm going to copy the account name here and I'm going to head um, to my playground and I'm going to the accounts. Accounts, we are going to create a new one, a new account. The account name would be universal container and then what else? The phone number 206 uh, 555. Well, we can enter anything actually. I'm just going to copy this. So we are on track. So the phone number is here. Okay. So now I'm going to save the record. This is a new record, right? So we have created universal containers in our Salesforce playground. Now, if I go back here, and I'm going to refresh this application, which is running on Docker on our local computer. This is not on Salesforce. Refresh this guy. Look at that. Recent items, universal containers. Awesome. It's just coming up, picking up from the recent items from Salesforce. I just click there. Now, we see account owner Jimmy and the phone number here. And then all these other details. Now, say I want to change the page layout because this whole thing is it's grabbing the fields from the page layout in Lightning. So if I go flip back to my playground and I'm going to go to my setup and I'm going to go to my account page layout and change, take out the facts field page layout. Okay, and I'm going to go to the account layout here. And I basically want to take out the fax field on here. See, under the phone, there is a fax, right? And if I go from here, you see under phone, there is fax, right? Now, if I take it out from the lightning over here, I simply minus that, remove the fax. Now, there's no fax. I'm going to save that. Now, after you save this, as usual, the Lightning platform sometimes takes a few seconds to actually be implemented across the, the network. So I want to take my time, take three, five seconds, and I'm going to go flip to my um, record viewer, which is on the Docker on my local computer. I'm going to refresh this guy here and go back to universal containers, voila, the facts field is now gone as well. Look at that. I didn't change any coding. I didn't view source and then recode, recode the code or, and then remove the facts field. I didn't do any of that. I simply remove the field from the page layout and on my application, it's gone as well. Why? Because we are using the user interface UI. So that's the basic functionality of why you want to use this and save a lot of time in your coding. All right. So let's go back and let's see what's next on the trail. So we've done that. We've tried and, and remove the facts field and it's showing also on our um, application. Now, Record viewer app structure. To work with the user interface API, you can use any web framework or language that can make HTTP requests. So it's your choice what to use to build your own interface or your own application that will interface with Salesforce. You can use Polymer, React, Angular, Vue, iOS, Android, 
Well, use the technology of your choice, right? So, this Record Viewer app is a single page app built using React, Redux, and Redux Saga. These are frameworks which I am not very familiar with, but we can look at the structure together. So you can use your Visual Studio code and open that uh, folder which we clone from GitHub and you can see the views, the login um, HTML, the pug um, generated file there and then the record viewer itself and then the OAuth redirect and on, on the client source there's also root.js which will be loaded so let me just close this guy we're not going to go into details on how the whole thing works for this particular application but i do encourage you to actually read through this and try to understand how the thing connect together but basically i'll just give you the general idea the gist of the whole um, thing like for this example if I refresh this guy here, right? So create a new record, select an object. What object? So I wanna choose, say, opportunity. I choose that, it changes, right? So that is being fetched using the, using the, the user interface API. For example, um, this particular one, where was it? I saw it just now. Like this, the UI API object info. So you pull the object info, right? And then Salesforce will return the metadata for the object we just chose. So for example, if I flip back to my Firefox over here and I just refresh the page, Say instead of opportunity, I create, I choose case. When I choose case, it will um, connect to Salesforce user interface API and pull the metadata for the case object. What fields are available? What's the page layout? What's the, the available pick list and everything? And it's, you're just gonna display it on your app. That's basically how the whole thing works. You can show the JSON here. Okay, as well, if you, if you wanna see, if I go back, if I, if I go refresh here, show JSON. If I go there, you can see, you can click on it as well, see? Yeah, you can just keep drilling in. So basically that's how, how it works. So if we go to the challenge, basically the challenge is um, doing what we just did, installing everything, the record viewer, doing the Docker and create an account. Now let's create an account ABC computing. Okay, the rating is warm and then, yep, basically we just go here and I go, I'm gonna go refresh. I'm gonna go account object, ABC computing. And then the rating is warm. And I'm just gonna save it, save. Boom, now we have ABC computing. If I click, there it is, rating warm, ABC computing. And we're done. So we're gonna dive more with the building of our own interface on the next trails. Now well, let's get the 500 points. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video 
and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.